Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks or Geeks. Today the problem which we are going to see is to rearrange a link list such that all even and odd positioned nodes are together. So uh, uh, in here the point to note is that you don't have to put all the even and odd uh, values together. You just have to put the even and odd positioned nodes together. So for example uh, if we are given this as the input link list then in that case we'll put the first and the third element together that is here then the second and fourth element together note that we are not uh, positioning the elements on the basis of the uh, the value but their uh, positions so that is why 2 and 4 is coming together let's see another example so 10 22 30 43 56 and 70 so here the nodes uh, 10 30 and 56 so these should come together and then the uh, remaining nodes at the even position that is 22 43 and 70 now these nodes come together so this is the problem now the uh, main uh, important thing in this uh, problem will be to make sure that you cover all the uh, corner cases so the corner cases uh, include uh, the first of all the empty link list so your code should be working for an empty link list then a link list with just one node then a link list with just two nodes and then link list with odd number of nodes and link list with even number of nodes so the solution should be working for all these five cases okay so uh, let's look at the solution so what we'll do is we will maintain two pointers odd and even for the current nodes at odd and even positions respectively so we are going to keep on traversing the array and these odd and even uh, pointers will uh, point to the uh, current odd and even positioned elements now we will also store the first node of even link list so that we can attach the even list at the end of odd list after all odd and even nodes are connected together in two different lists so what we are going to do in this solution is that uh, we are going to start building a uh, link list which contains all the nodes with uh, of the position odd and another link list of the position even so we start building two link lists and then in the end we'll connect the next pointer of the odd link list to the first node of the even link list that is why we'll also store the first node of even link list because the even pointer will keep on moving uh, as we keep on building the link list so we'll have to store the first pointer of the even link list in a temporary variable okay so uh, let's look at the code for this function so this is the function rearrange even odd where we get as an argument the uh, head of the link list now uh, catering to our first uh, condition so we check if the head is null if that is the case we just return null so we don't do anything otherwise what we do is we initialize three variables so odd even and even first so odd is initialized as the value head because that will be the first node of the link list then even is initialized as the uh, next of head that will be second node of the link list and then even first that will again be uh, the same value as even so if we have just one element then then in that case a uh, head will be uh, the odd will be pointing to the first element the next of head will be null so the even becomes null and even next also becomes null so in this way we have handled that case also now we are running a infinite loop here which will only break in these two conditions now uh, let's look at the uh, code inside this uh, while loop so when this condition comes that uh, if there is no if the odd is null or even is null or the next of even is null if any of these three cases uh, are there it means that 
now uh, there are no more elements to be added to either of the linked list so we just uh, put the e1 first as the next of odd linked list so we are just connecting the linked list the both the linked list the even linked list and the odd linked list and then we just break out of the loop and then we return the head otherwise what we do is we uh, first of all update the next pointer of the odd linked list to the next of the even linked list so the uh, next pointer of the even has to be at a position odd so that is why we are putting the next pointer of odd as the next pointer of even so we keep on connecting the odd elements like this and then we update the odd value here as next of even so these these both values are same so ne uh, e next of even so we firstly made the connection here and then we just updated our uh, pointer odd to the uh, next of even so uh, we connected a new node and then we moved our pointer to that new node now similar to this we uh, have a check here that uh, if the next of odd is null then in that case we update the next of even as null and then we connect the two linked list this we are doing because uh, we know that uh, uh, because this condition is true so there is no even element after this uh, odd element so the previous the next of previous even element which is right now even that should be equal to null and then in the end we just uh, connect the two linked list and then we break so these two are the uh, conditions where we break out of the loop if, if, if this is if this condition is again not true then we connect the even linked list so we find out the next even uh, value which is the next of the uh, current odd we play uh, we make the connection so next of even becomes next of odd and then when you, and then we again uh, update the value of the even as next of odd so again uh, similar to uh, this we again uh, made the connection in the first step to the new node and then we moved our pointer to the to that same new node so in the end this uh, loop will cover all the cases and in the end will return the head which will return the uh, the complete linked list as uh, which will be arranged as per the conditions uh, required so uh, that is all for this tutorial uh, you can visit this link at geeksforgeeks.com uh, and you can also run the code uh, in the web id on the geeksforgeeks.com itself thank you very much